Starting at your home page, get to your Update Index page by clicking the Copyright 2009 Teacher Web link at the bottom of the page. Click the Add New Page. Choose Calendar, Grid Style Enhanced Calendar. You can now return to your home page and see the newly added calendar page. The new calendar page works just like all other page types in TeacherWeb. Just click the last modified date link at the bottom of the page. Once at the update page, you can click a link to manage events. First, I will add an event. I will add Jerry's birthday to my calendar. You are also able to categorize each event you add. This will allow for specific viewing of events by students and parents visiting your site. You can also color code your categories. I will add a couple of event categories. Next, I will set the location of the event as well as the date. For dates, you are able to have an all-day event or even specify specific times. You are also able to load a picture into the detail of every event. I know Jerry loves baseball, so I'm going to add a funny baseball man. Now you can add text in the description box. Since this is an enhanced text editor, you can add images, links, video, etc. Notice the new calendar page also has a Publish Dates option available. This allows you to add an event but hide it from view until the specified published dates. Once you have made all of your selections, click Submit Calendar Event. You will get a confirmation message at the top of the page stating your event has been added. You can click the link to go back to the event and edit any information. Notice on the left side of the screen there is a link, Return to Miss Smithson's Calendar. This takes you back to the view that anyone visiting your site will see. Now you can see the event as a parent or student would. If you click on the event, you can see all of the details, including the picture I added, as well as the detailed text. You can delete events if needed. To do this, click the last modified date link in order to update the page, and then click on the link to manage events. You can now choose Manage Events on the left side of the screen, and then click on the event you want to manage. Notice the Delete This Event button in the top right corner. You will get a confirmation once your event has been deleted. Returning to the regular view for our new calendar page, I want to show you a few of the viewing options. I have added multiple events and multiple categories. There is the monthly view as well as the list view. Even in the list view, you can see date and time information as well as a link to more details. A great feature of the new calendar page is categories. Parents and students can use the filter by category tool to limit the events they want to see when viewing the page. You can choose to view a single category or multiple categories at once. You can have multiple calendar pages. Each calendar page shares all events. You have the option to set which categories show for each page. Notice each of my grade level calendars only show categories based on what is relevant. You can edit this by clicking the last modified date link on each calendar page.